Hey everybody, welcome back to the Here to See channel. I have one more here journal for you in 1 Corinthians. 1 Corinthians chapter 16. Paul's letter to the church in Corinth. Here to see, focusing on sharing pearls of wisdom, nuggets of knowledge, understanding the difficult, and instructions for a better life. We're reading, been reading a chapter of 1 Corinthians a day and doing a hear journal a day. Hear journaling is a method many find edifying to the re relationship with the Lord. Check out replicate.org to learn about hear journaling. So now, our last chapter in the book of 1 Corinthians. Let's read and listen. New Living Translation. Chapter 16. The Collection for Jerusalem. Now regarding your question about the money being collected for God's people in Jerusalem, you should follow the same procedure I gave to the churches in Galatia. On the first day of each week, you should each put aside a portion of the money you have earned. Don't wait until I get there and then try to collect it all at once. When I come, I will write letters of recommendation for the messengers you choose to deliver your gift to Jerusalem, and if it seems appropriate for me to go along, they can travel with me. Paul's Final Instructions I am coming to visit you after I have been to Macedonia, for I am planning to travel through Macedonia. Perhaps I will stay a while with you, possibly all winter, and then you can send me on my way to my next destination. This time I don't want to make just a short visit and then go right on. I want to come and stay a while, if the Lord will let me. In the meantime, I will be staying here at Ephesus until the festival of Pentecost. There is a wide open door for a great work here, although many oppose me. When Timothy comes, don't intimidate him. He is doing the Lord's work, just as I am. Don't let anyone treat him with contempt. Send him on his way with your blessing when he returns to me. I expect him to come with the other believers. Now, about our brother Apollos. I urged him to visit you with the other believers, but he was not willing to go right now. He will see you later when he has the opportunity. Be on guard. Stand firm in the faith. Be courageous. Be strong. And do everything with love. You know that Stephanus and his household were the first of the harvest of believers in Greece, and they are spending their lives in service to God's people. I urge you, dear brothers and sisters, to submit to them and others like them who serve with such devotion. I am very glad that Stephanus, Fortunatus, and Achaicus have come here. They have been providing the help you weren't here to give me. They have been a wonderful encouragement to me, as they have been to you. You must show your appreciation to all who serve so well. Paul's Final Greetings The churches here in the province of Asia send greetings in the Lord, as do Aquila and Priscilla, and all the others who gather in their home for church meetings. All the brothers and sisters here send greetings to you. Greet each other with Christian love. Here is my greeting in my own handwriting. Paul If anyone does not love the Lord, that person is cursed. Our Lord, come. May the grace of the Lord Jesus be with you. My love to all of you in Christ Jesus. Okay, that was 1 Corinthians chapter 16 in the New Living Translation. So now for the Hear Journal. First, the highlight. Verse 13. Be on guard. Stand firm in the faith. Be courageous. Be strong. Do everything with love. You know that Stephanus and his household were the first of the harvest of believers in Greece, and they are spending their lives in service to God's people. I urge you, dear brothers and sisters, to submit to them and others like them that serve with such devotion. I am very glad that Stephanus Fortunatus and Achaeus have come here. They have been providing the help you weren't here to give me. They have been wonderful encouragement to me and they have been to you. You must show appreciation to all who serve well. So now, the explanation. 
Paul instructs the believers in Corinth to be on guard, stand firm in the faith, to be strong, and to do everything with love. He also speaks about believers that are serving well, dedicating their lives to the service of the Lord Jesus, and instructs them to show their appreciation to all that serve well. So what's the application for us today? We also should be on guard, stand firm in the faith, be strong, and do everything with love. We must dedicate our own lives to the Lord Jesus and show appreciation to all that serve well. So what's my response? Well, Lord, thank you for my salvation, for the new life you've provided me. Thank you for your servants that serve well. Please show me how I can serve you better, how I can show appreciation for others that serve well. And now, how about you? Why don't you try here journaling? Have you been reading through with us one chapter a day? And don't be discouraged. God's not going to let you down. And comment below. Share your experiences with us. And if you don't know Jesus as your personal Savior, read the Gospel of John chapter 3 to learn about salvation and talk to God about it. Talk to God about anything. He really, truly loves you. Try Him out. He won't disappoint you. Keep seeking Him.